with the Torres Strait Islander children here, I think um, allowing them to express themselves both culturally and personally to continually reinforce the things that the substantial learnings that they bring from home is really important. Allowing them to speak their language and to express to you those things and to, to be involved as an outsider, as someone who's not a culture bearer, to actually be involved in their world and to show respect and more than respect, I think it's like that you build their curriculum around where they come from and who they are. And I think that's how they build confidence, that's how they build resilience. Um, this is a society that, or community that seems to place a lot of emphasis on relationships. It's, I think it's that interwoven relationships that are here, that everyone has a context, everyone has a place, everyone has a, has a respect for each other and more about who you are than what you do or what you are. Painting the one we do, and you come tell Miss May your story. All right. Yeah, I'm a source the sun up behind. Uh, uh, the about 66. 66, uh. All right. Uh, Dido? Okay, tell me your painting. Come sit on here. When? When? Me pla. Me pla. That because we have a And you probably feel a pool. Thank you, Dido. We are isolated geographically up here. The children are, um, often their experience is just this island. More often than not, we're focusing more on their place here and the way they are connected to family and community here so that they can have a, a really strong sense of belonging here so that when they do go outside of this, this community that, they, that that follows on from there. Okay, look here. Put them to you. Tasha, you do. Dress up, dress up. We look a mirror and we play. We Tasha, you sweat. We Tasha, you smile. Tasha, you smile. Tasha, you smile. Tasha, you smile provide these experiences and, and activities for the children to, for them to become strong people, to come, to, for them to be able to express their feelings um, in a way that's going to be acceptable later on down, down the track. So learning how to share, respecting your teachers, respecting your fellow students in the room, being confident enough to go to the toilet, being confident enough to, to ask for help when they can't pull their trousers up you know, and for us to provide an area where they can do that without being ridiculed, without being put down. Always tell the pre-prep when we sit together and talk and I tell them that in your long run, you must teach, like, try very hard to, to uh, reach your goal you must become like Miss May as a teacher or as a doctor or nurses or anything. I said to them, but first you must complete all your goal or activities, everything, until you reach to that. So I, I uh, hope that they will become a teacher one day. The teacher is my, my, my grandson's son or daughter. Yeah.